Now we will discuss about active filter design that is low pass filter. In this there is a two operation is going on. One is it is anyway it is doing filter and we are using op amp so it is also taking as a amplification. So amplification also working on and filter also going on. So if you take as a low pass filter what type of op amp circuit we have to use. We know that there is a four type of circuit in op amp possible. Common mode is here not possible because we not getting zero and uh, next if you are taking inverting amplifier whatever signal you are given inverted version so I won't require in this filter inverted actually filter is nothing but some portion whatever given that is as it is I required anyway the differential is not come to the picture so left one is non invert always remember all type of filter we are using non inverter amplifier only so first we will write as a non inverter amplifier structure so in that we can take plus minus and negative is we have one resistance r1 and we have resistance called rf and it is connected to v0 you can use rl and rp that is optional so non inverter circuit means the negative portion is grounded and positive we are giving V in. This is the amplifier circuit. But active filter, I told it is a combination of filter also and amplification also. So, first amplifier portion is done. Now I have to do filter. So, filter is nothing but we are using low pass filter. So, low pass filter means lower frequency we have to pass. So, first we are taking a resistor and then capacitor is connected to ground and this is the filter operation this output we are giving to the positive because of the non invert and here we are giving the signal card vi this is usually ac signal because frequency only present in ac not dc so all the filter circuit the input should be ac signal here this value we can call r this we can call c so here there is a again the active filter is nothing but combination of filter plus amplifier so here when you are going design we have to do two types of design one is filter design another one is amplifier design so if you go to the filter design we have the two things one is what is the cutoff frequency so cutoff frequency is depend upon rc value so what is r and c related usually always remember r is equal to xc so it is nothing but capacitance react we know that capacitance reactance and rc we can take as a something like r is equal to 1 divided by omega c into capital c this omega c means cutoff portion so this if you are simplify you will get usually r is equal to 1 divided by omega can be written as 2 pi f so 2 pi f cutoff frequency means fc you can write and capacitance c if you simplify this one is nothing but you will get fc so nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi rc this is what the filter design frequency similar way we can design bandwidth so bandwidth is nothing but we have 0 to fc so it is nothing but cutoff frequency in our case this is what filter design amplifier design we already discussed in the non inverter so i am not going much detail on that so we can say that amplifier is a is equal to we have non inverting so 1 plus rf divided by r1 so these are the design portion of the filter if you going for the waveform it is as simple as previously what we have discussed you have to take one signal something like that here we have frequency this is your gain in db okay so here this is what a into vi you are getting v naught is nothing but a into vi here we are taking about a so it is nothing but v naught divided by vi answer is you are getting here so uh, some portion this is we are calling cutoff frequency up to here we are getting after that we are getting something like as a this portion here when you going for the cutoff frequency one more parameter we can design where exactly cutoff frequency 
we are take if you are take any one portion something like that here uh, we are taking uh, like this is the gain and uh, we are not taking exactly where it is start from decreasing usually we will usually we are talking about db so we are taking half of the db where it exactly come that point where it exactly intersect that portion we are calling as a fc half means if you are taking as a 20 db okay so it is 20 log of 0.5 so usually you will get as a 3 db so 3 db is the the very important cut off point to find fc so if it is assume that gain in db you got something like 10 db so in this 7 db point whichever cut off frequency we have or whichever frequency we have that is the cut off frequency this can be measured in practical okay in theoretically we know that how to find fc we can find out using formula but if you want to find fc in the graphical method or practical method so you have to do such a way that where the particular gain in db half of that that is nothing but 3 db this portion is 3 db okay so r also 0.707 also we can call okay yeah this particular point where intersect that point is known as fc same thing here also we can take that and we know that this is the single pole so whatever slope here going on this is we are calling as a minus 20 db per dec or 10 times of frequency that means that much uh, variation takes so this is all about the single pole or first order low pass filter next we will discuss about second order low pass filter so as usual we are taking as a non inverter circuit so this is positive negative here we are getting v not and as usual we are getting as a rf here and a connected one is r1 and we are taking non inverter so make ground of the negative terminal so positive we have to give input here the second order so i have to use two capacitor and two resistor so first we have anyway v in this is we have first resistor then we have capacitor and one more we have resistor and one more capacitor and this output usually we are connected to positive this portion is known as two order low pass usually this capacitor we are connecting to ground in this part the first capacitor we usually connected to the output of the circuit and second one we are connecting to the ground the first capacitor act as a feedback also to the connect over this one so this one we call c1 this is called c similar way r1 and r2 here r1 rf already there we can give it any other name something r a r b similar way instead of c1 you can call c a c b this is the structure of the second order low pass filter so usually you have to remember that the capacitor of first filter is connected to the output portion even you can take from here also upper part also or lower part also so in this what are the portion we have this is also called as a two four frequency selective circuit so when you going for the design in the first order filter we are designed fc and bandwidth see what is the fc here we will get here we have actually there is a two type of resistance we know that fc formula is 1 divided by 2 pi r here in our case r is nothing but r a and r b similar way capacitor is nothing but capacitor a and capacitor b if you want to include both together then we can write our circuit like fc is equal to we can make 1 divided by 2 pi root of this stuff so r a r b and c a c b if you take r a is equal to r b is equal to r similar way c a is equal to c b is equal to c then what happens the same answer you will get that is nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi root of r square because r a r b both are r into c square so square and root cancel out usually you will get 1 divided by 2 pi r c so if you make r a r b and c a c b equal so same answer we will get in the second pole also we usually doing 
the same operation r a r b is equal to r c a c b is equal to c so the same equation what previously discussed that we are getting and bandwidth also remains same f c and even the gain of the circuit also same 1 plus r f by r 1 so what is the difference why we are using second order we are getting same cutoff frequency we are getting same band same gain everything same the thing second order low pass filter already i told about you people the thing only changes is the roll off rate so that one is if you take like this this rate is minus 40 db per decade in first order it is minus 20 db per decade and here we are taking minus 3 db portion as a fc and this slope should be this one this is what second order so second order slope is very less compared to the your first order slope similarly if you are going third order means the selective region is go on decreasing so this is the what we can do in the second order filter in the filter we have one more term called butterworth filter what is this type of filter mean? we know that active filter contains filter and amplifier if amplifier gain is always 1.56 this is the gain factor and it is constant this type of gain if you have that particular filter we are calling as a butterworth filter so very simple way to remember butterworth filter its gain should be always 1.56 so in your syllabus we usually using butterworth filter so make gain such a way that which you will get as a output like 1.56 next in the problematic we have to design such a butterworth low pass filter with cutoff frequency is 7.23k and assume that equal r and c we have and where capacitor is 22 nanofarad and r2 is equal to 1k if you take as a the second order filter so this is actually second order in your syllabus only second order we have we don't have first order just for your understanding purpose i told about first order also whenever the question arises in the exam only do the second order filter only so we will take this circuit diagram so in this circuit diagram our aim is to make r1 c value we have and fc value we have so in this circuit the c value is nothing but it's C A and C B. So that is nothing but 22 nano is given. Same here. And whatever this R2 here is nothing but actually the feedback resistance, not this R A R B. So this is 1K we have. Our aim is to find R A R B and C B. So go to the formula. We have formula is F C is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi R C. And here R assume equal R. Uh, so we can uh, take as a r a is equal to r b so that reason we can calculate r value from this we have c we can uh, take c as a 22 nanofarad and f is 7.23 so uh, once you simplify this one you can find out the r value so r is nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi cutoff frequency into capacitor so it is nothing but 1 divided by 2 pi 7.23 into 10 to the power of 3 into capacitor 22 into 10 to the power of minus 9. So if you simplify, you will get resistance value 6 kilo ohm or 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So this is the R value. So we can take R A is equal to R B. So both are 1 kilo ohm. So you will take here 1 kilo ohm as a answer. Now second one here butterworth filter. So uh, we know the FC value from that R find it. Now our aim is to find R1. So previously I told Butterworth filter is nothing but the gain should be 1.56 or 586 something. Okay. You can take 1.5. So this is the your gain value for Butterworth filter. We know the formula A is equal to 1 plus RF by R1. Previously we are studying. This is, is equal to 1.5. So here the RF value is given 1K. So we can find out R1 from this. So 1 plus RF is 1K divided by R1 we have to find is equal to 1.5. So 1 if you go this side then the ratio of this one is nothing but 0.5. So uh, the 1K divided by R1 is equal to 0.5. 
you have to make such a R1 which make this value. So if you simplify, I think you will get as a R1 is equal to 0.5. Okay, sorry, 0.5 kilo or you can take 500 ohm. 